Hello there. I'm Elaine Rosenberg from Near4J. Welcome to this Intermediate Cipher Queries course, where you will learn practical cipher programming techniques in less than four hours. This course has seven modules. In the first module, you expand what you have learned in the Cipher Fundamentals course. First, you review basic querying and expand upon it where you learn more ways to test string data. Then you will learn about Cypher patterns and how the patterns you specify could impact the performance of your queries. And finally, you learn about queries containing multiple match clauses. The next module teaches you ways that you can control results returned from a query. First, you will learn about ordering results. Then you will learn some of the ways that you can limit query results and count results. And finally, you will learn some of the ways that you can change the data that is returned, including conditional processing of the data. In the next module, you will learn more about working with Cypher data. You will learn some ways to create lists and how to access elements in a list. Then you will learn how to work with date and time related data, including formatting it and working with durations. In the next module, you will learn about graph traversal. First, you will learn how the graph is traversed starting with anchor nodes. Then you will learn how you can perform queries where a varying length path is specified. The next module focuses on what you need to know about pipelining queries. First, you will learn how the with keyword can be used to define or redefine the scope of a variable. Then you will learn how a query can feed into another query using with. Finally, you will learn how lists can be unwound during query processing to help with the results you need to return. In the next module, you will learn some more techniques for reducing the memory required for your queries. First, you will learn what a subquery is and how to use one. Then you will learn how to combine results from multiple queries using the union keyword. The final module of this course is about parameters. First, you will learn how to set parameters in Neo4j browser for your query testing. Then you will learn how to use parameters in your Cypher queries. We end this module with a few examples of JavaScript and Python snippets to show how parameters are passed into your Cypher queries. We hope you like your learning experience with this intermediate Cypher queries course.